Today I'm going to show you how to create another police department and integrate it with the police job. For tutorial purposes, I'll be creating the Blaine County Sheriff's Office and I'm using High Dev's QB Police Job. If you don't have High Dev's version installed, I left a link to the install video in the description among other helpful things. I hope you enjoy the video. To get started, go into your resources and find the QB folder. Then go into QB Core, Shared, and open the jobs.lua. Once you're in there, copy the original police job and paste it again. Then we'll start renaming the information starting with the job name and label. So I'll change this to BCSO and the label to Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Leave the type the same. Then you have options for people to be on duty by default and for them to be paid when they're off duty. Next are the grades or ranks. You can rename them or add more. You can also set the pay for each rank. So I'll change officer to deputy. And I'll change the payment. To add more ranks, we'll copy this last one here and paste it below it. Make sure you change the number in the bracket so they're in numerical order. And then we'll change the name of this as well to sheriff. And then we'll make this under sheriff. If you want multiple ranks to be able to access the boss menu, then add the is boss option. If not, simply remove it. Once you're done editing everything, hit file and save. Then move on to the boss menu creation. Go back to the QB folder and find QB management. Then go into the client folder and open the config.lua. Under config.boss menus, I'm going to copy this last section here and paste it again. Then change the name to the job you created. Mine was BCSO. Then under config.boss menu zones, I'm going to do the same thing. and change the name. Then we'll move on to getting the location information. You can just leave this alone for now and go into your server. Once you're in your server, go to the location you want the boss menu to be. Once you're there, type slash PZ create space box. Then enter a name for it, make it something you'll remember. I'm gonna call it Sheriff's Office. I'm gonna make the length and the width one. When the box pops up, use the arrow keys to move it and the scroll wheel to rotate it. So once you have it where you want it to be, hold Z and it should turn red, then use the scroll wheel to make it smaller or larger. It could be a different key for you. Once you have it how you want it, type slash PZ finish. Then go back out and find polyzone created zones. This is the information you'll need. So go back to the config we were in earlier and pull up the information. We'll then start replacing the locations. So I'll copy this first and change it here. And I'll change it here as well. So go back and the length and the width are one. The heading is 315. The minimum is 28.32. And the max is 32.32. After you've entered all the information, hit File and Save. Then restart your server and make sure it works. So I'm back in the server now. The first thing I'll do is set my job to the one I created. And as you can see, when I check my job, it's Blaine County Sheriff's Office and I am the sheriff. So I go ahead and open the boss menu. And these are just the default options. I'll also go over to the bank and show the society fund. Once you're at the bank, go ahead and open it. Anyone who has access to the boss menu will be able to see the society fund. 
So I'll go ahead and transfer money. And as you can see, it moved the money into that account. Next, we'll move on to integrating the police job. Let's go back to your resources and find QB police job. Then open the config.lua. The first thing we'll go over are the blip colors. You need to add the name of the police job you created. You can replace one you aren't using or make a new one. I named the job BCSO, which is already there. But for example, let's say you created one for the Los Santos Police Department called LSPD. So I'll copy the last police one and paste it, then enter the job name. Next, you can change the color of the blip. I left a link in the description to the site for blips and colors. So go there and choose a color you like. I'm going to choose a gold. Now it's important you remember the number because that defines the color. So 46 will go back. And I'll change this to 46. The next things are the locations. I'm not going to show me changing all of them again. There are preset locations with commented out text explaining where they are. If you plan on or are using all of these, you can simply create another location. If not, you can replace the cords. To create a new location, copy the last one, hit enter and paste. Again, make sure the numbers line up, so we'll change this to four so they're in numerical order. You can change the commented out text so you know which location it is, then you need to copy the cords and replace them. So I'll call this test BCSO. Then go back in the server and get the location. So I'll just put it up front here. After you copy the cores, go back and replace them. When you get to the vehicle section, please acknowledge the commented out text. The numbers must match, so one here corresponds with number one under authorized vehicles, which if you scroll down, is here. If necessary, be sure to change the rank requirements as well. The last thing I'll go over is the blip for the station. You can replace ones that are already here or create another one following the format. I'm just going to change the color to 46 so it's that gold. And once you're done editing everything, be sure to hit file and save, then restart your server and test it out. If you're looking for hosting, check out one of one servers. One of one servers is a cutting edge VPS and dedicated server provider specializing in top notch features like reliable network, unlimited player slots, and advanced DDoS protection. They also offer 24-7 customer support so you can get help when you need it. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and get started. Now back to the video. So I'm back in the server now. The first thing I'll start with is the blip for the station. I did change it to that gold color. Then we'll move on to the clock in location. So it displays the name of the job. And I'm on duty, so I go off duty. And then go back on. I'll then open the LEO GPS. Put my call sign in and activate it. And when you look on the map, you'll see here I am as this gold color. I did add another location, which was the evidence. That's the only one I'll be showing. So here we'll open the evidence. Again, it displays the job name. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.